and it really is like working with clay or, or, or painting uh, you just got to kind of push and pull a little bit you know put some put some weights down uh, see what it does you, you like it put a little more down you don't like it uh, put something else down instead just keep working back and forth again I'm going to kind of get in here And so I'm just going back and forth. I'm adding, I'm smoothing, I'm subtracting, I'm smoothing. I'm just working it little by little. Okay, so now that I got that transition a lot better, I can focus on the roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my little skin to selected script and I'm going to skin all this stuff right about there would be good all right, let's go all the way down to here now let's take out that last row Turn the joints back on and let's get it to both these joints. And that's going to send them 50 50 to both of them. Okay, so now that it's all skinned to both of them evenly, let's just go through, start from the bottom, take every couple of rows, set the calf roll joint to Point nine. Next couple of rolls. Next couple of rows. Point eight. Next couple of rows, and so on up the chain. Point seven. Point six. Next two would be 0.5, which they already are, so we'll go up here. 0 0.4. 0 0.3. 0.2. Last two rows, let's go ahead and just erase. Yeah, we got more bright stuff. Jeez, does not. No. Oh. Yeah, still. Let's take that out. 
just go ahead and set all this to one. Okay. So now we got it roughly blocked in. And you can see that it, it, it twists fairly evenly. You know, it's a little stair-steppy, but it goes nice line this way instead of coming here and then twisting and then coming down this way. So now I just go through and smooth, 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 smooth. Let's go ahead and actually subtract that back out. Cause I, yeah, that was one part I missed when I was blocking out. Oops. Uh, smooth, 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 smooth. Smooth. Uh, now I got some garbage weights in there again. Why, why are you being so difficult? Smooth, 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 smooth. And one thing you can do too is you can take all these verts here and come in here to the smooth function and go flood and go flood 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 and it'll only flood through the selected vertexes it won't flood through all of them because if I just hit flood it's going to smooth those weights throughout the entire mesh and it might go in the places I don't want it to go but this way I can sit there and say smooth them out only in these areas And when I do this, I, I do it on a Wacom. Uh, the pressure sensitive st stylus helps. Uh, it's a lot easier to do this with a Wacom than with a mouse. I highly recommend it. Um, I've not tried doing it on a Cintiq. Um, but that's also possible. Okay, these weights are being funny. I probably got another, some more weird garbage values in there. I got a weird little divot right there. Let's go ahead and just add some weights in there and pull it out. And then we'll smooth that back in. That's a little better. 
Remember, Maya is, you know, all this stuff for tools. It's a computer. You know, it can do a lot of calculations, but it can't really think. And, and, it, and it can't use artistic expression. Ultimately, it's up to you to figure out what you want. Erase, 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 erase. Get these garbage weights out. So now let's look at the, the thigh roll. Uh, we actually have three joints here. We have the, the thigh C, the roll 1, and the roll 2. Uh, if you looked at some of my previous videos, you'll see the, the how I set up this anti-gimbal setup. Uh, admittedly, it's not one of our better produced ones. It was done in kind of a rush, but uh, it talks about why I split these into three and, and how I set that up. So... If you want to review that, that tutorial, that would be very helpful. But for the purposes, just just know that the thigh is, is, is split into these three joints, and then you got an extra hip joint here. But for right now, let's work on the on the roll. So again, let's go ahead and, and block this out. I'm going to go ahead and... Take these rows here. And then let's go ahead and take both the rolls and put them to 0.5. Okay. So again, let's go ahead and, and twist this leg really nice, so we can world space. There we go. So let's get a lot of twist going on in here. Um, so again, you see we got like no twist, twist, more twist, even more twist, and it's very stair steppy. So we want to basically smooth all that out. So let's go ahead and. Um, you know, last time I, I just added the values in manually in in the uh, component editor. Uh, this time I'm I'm painting them in um, just because this is a bigger mass. I think it might be a little easier than trying to type them all in manually. The the calf roll had fewer joints and had fewer um, rows of verts. Um, but I could easily do this in the component editor as well, just like I did the calf roll. I'm just choosing not to for no real particular reason other than I just don't want to. Smooth, 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 smooth. Come up to joint C. Right now, I'm just putting down paint. I'm just just adding to the weights, trying to get it to you know make a straight but twisted line. What I mean by straight but twisted is that the it'll curve, it'll curve around this way. Um, but, but the curve will basically come like from here to here. So, 
you know, it's not going to, like right now it curves and then it straights and then it curves again. That's what I don't want. Because uh, remember the skin is sitting on top of muscle. The muscle is, well, the very basic concept is it's, it's got a, and a, two attach points, one at the one at the top and one at the bottom, and um, when it twists, that 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 volume's twisting, and the skin will slide around it and over it, and uh, it's kind of attached through fat and everything, but it also slides over bone and all this kind of stuff. So, um, you know, you don't want. Or I, I, I don't want when I'm skinning, I should say. What I don't want is, is hard transitions. Because that, to me, looks very unnatural. You know, like I remember old... Uh, like older video games that didn't have roll joints. And the wrist would be there and all of a sudden just the wrist would just twist like all right here and it would candy wrap. And it's just... It's not how the, the wrist works and... and it's not how your skin would work, and, and it's just very unnatural. So, yeah, let's give it a little more. No, this is the way I want it to go. Let's give it a little more of that. There we go. That straightens it out a bit. Smooth, 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 smooth. Again, it's coming and curving out that way. Let's straighten that out. Let's get a little, a little more of the thigh C in there. Just sort of adding that in. Uh, so I'll jump between replace and add and smooth and just keep bouncing around them. The, the one I don't use really when I'm doing this kind of weighting, I've used it in other types of weighting, but I don't use it in this kind of weighting, is a scale. Um, nothing wrong with using the scale, it's just um, when it comes to painting weights, I've, I've just never needed to use it. Uh, when I'm painting skin weights, I should clarify. Um, when painting other weights, um, yeah, it gets to be a different story. These are still being. Oops. So that's not, uh, let's give a little more. A little more influence of that thigh. I see down that way. funky right there. I wonder what, what's in that. Uh, let's, let's take those hip weights out. There we go. And sometimes the trick is just finding the right influence to work in because um, unfortunately you have to do it one influence at a time and if you don't really know what the influence is that is causing your problem, then jumping around trying to find it can be a pain in the butt sometimes. And 
And remember, this is this is what's called the iliac crust right here, and that's basically your hip bone. Um, you don't want that collapsing. Uh, you don't want the leg to, to come up and, and this, you know, flatten out or anything like that. That that's solid bone right there. So it pays to know your anatomy. If you don't know your anatomy, learn your anatomy. Um, you know, you're, you're not going to get very far if you're regular going, well, I don't know my anatomy very well. That, that's not going to buy you anything. Uh, nobody's going to hire a, a character rigger that doesn't understand uh, basic anatomy. You know, you don't have to be a, a friggin' doctor or anything like that, but you ought to at least know, um, you know, which one of these bumps are, are a bone and which one's a muscle, you know, that kind of thing. You don't have to name the muscle, but you got to at least know that that's a muscle or that's a bone. Okay. So again, I got the hip split through three different hip joints. So I'm just going to start. Uh, obviously, this is the C joint. That's going to be the bulk of it. So... A is going to rotate the least, and B is going to be kind of in between. Um, so I'm just I'm just laying down paint. Let's get the A in here. Um, Um, I actually don't skin to that too much. I just keep it to the hips. Um, personally, me. But, you know, uh, I, I know people have used this setup and they do skin to the hips and they get decent results out of it. So, you know, skin to whatever's there and whatever works. That's really what it boils down to. You know, there's no... There's guidelines, but there's not really rules, you know what I mean? There, there's, you, you can sit there and say, well, this is how I do it, and I get good results, and I recommend you do the same thing, but you know, in the end of the day, all that really matters is that you got good results. And... Um, well, kind of. You, you also need to have something that, that's clean and... Um, easily editable and, and people can fall up behind you too so there's other considerations but um, so I shouldn't say that's the only thing that matters but it's probably the most important thing is that you get good results And again, I just keep working it, you know, pushing and pulling, you know, throw a little bit of paint here, a little bit of paint there. You know, this butt's coming out a little more than I want. Now, remember, the butt's basically a muscle, and when it pulls forward, this muscle gets pulled taut, so this bubbling goes away. So I'm just going to add some of that, that A joint back in here and see if I can... Get that influence around, and and again with it, just by regular weighting, I'm not going to get this perfect. Um, if I want the butt to really look like a butt, I'm either going to have to go through and add some corrective blend shapes, which I'll probably do, or I'm going to have to um, uh, add some custom joints and, and set up all kinds of. Um, gear gizmos and everything to make it uh, make it behave and I've, I've, I've actually seen a lot of different butt rigs there's there's actually uh, I've seen a lot of different people put a lot of time and effort making butts look right so uh, it's a thing 
Um, I've seen people use Muscle Sim, which actually can work rather well if done right. I've seen people have like a pseudo Muscle Sim. Um, I've, I've seen uh, people do, uh, you know, put extra joints and have all kinds of uh, expressions or and in, in, in stuff to make the joints move around to to uh, preserve and collapse the volume depending on on the position. Um, I'm just adding more hips weights to pull that out. And you want to be careful because you know I'm only pulling it one direction, but it's got to go. The leg's got to go both directions. And one of the problems you may have is you know you get this all looking right and this all looking pretty, and then you bend it the other way and it looks like ass. No pun intended. <laughs> I, I I so didn't mean that. Um, so you know you got to kind of make it. You got to test it both ways. Um, okay, so now I'm going to try to pull out this pinch as much as possible. And again, this is just one of those things where there's, there's no formula. There's no. This is the correct way to do it. You just keep uh, you know manipulating the weights until you get as much as that pinch out as possible you know a lot of uh, game meshes you know they just accept the fact that the the thigh collapses into the the body but that's just not uh, that's just not the real world what happens is the skin collides on skin and, and there is a pinch but it doesn't interpenetrate And as you can see, it's collapsing a little bit too much in there. So let's just go ahead and add a little bit of that hips back in. And again, you're, you're just getting a couple joints. It's not going to be perfect. I'm going to have to put, um, you know, correct the blend shapes or or muscle sim or something like that. There's a new program from the guy who's done shaving a haircut called L Brush which is um, absolutely fantastic for this kind of stuff if you are uh, so inclined to spend the money. It's a little pricey. It's the big turnoff to me, but um, it, it's just absolutely uh, fantastic for um, sculpting out uh, these areas because that is actually a true PSD system, and not only that, but... He's combined it with a, a mud box like subdivision sculpting program. So you can get, uh, you can not only sculpt out the deformations, but you can sculpt out the, um, 
all the high res detail like if you're flexing an arm you can make the veins pop out um, and that kind of thing so it, it, it's absolutely a phenomenal piece of software from uh, from what I've seen in the demo uh, That's that's in the ballpark. Let's smooth that out a little bit, get that a little more so it doesn't have quite the sudden death right there oops So, in fact, let's. So, if you twist this, you're gonna start. You can see you're starting to the, the pinch and lose lose volume. Now, obviously, this is an extreme case. Your thighs are gonna have a tough time rotating that much. But in your wrist and your in your upper arm, especially for um, for women who, whose arms are thin, or if you have a, a, a child, or maybe just a really scrawny dude, um, that loss of volume is going to be very pronounced. And again, let's let's do the same thing here. Um, let's go ahead and straighten that out. So if I come in here and I twist this, now again, obviously I cannot spin my leg all the way around, but you can see how we're losing the volume, even if I twist it that much, which which is not unrealistic. We're losing volume because with linear skinning. Um, you'll get this candy wrapping effect. Now if I come in here to the skin cluster and I switch this to dual quad, you can see how that puffs out a little bit. There's a classic linear and there's the dual quad. Okay, so the dual quad is great at preserving volume. And as I mentioned before, you come in the area like this, see how big and round and puffy that bud is now? Go back to linear linear dual quad linear dual quad so what we want to do is go to weighted blend mode and we want to paint in the areas that we want to have the dual quad turning and skinning and leave out the places that we want to keep linear obviously the butt we want to keep linear anywhere down here we want to roll we want to have weighted blend so we'll go back to our weight tool under weight type, we're going to switch this to DQ blend. Now, by default, everything is zero, which means linear, and we're going to paint in the DQ blend. So basically, just paint it in like so, just like painting in weights. And you can see it right here. If you, let's go ahead and just make it really extreme. So we can kind of see it puff out. Yeah, so you can see it puffing out now.
And we can smooth that out. And you want to smooth out the transitions. You don't want the, the verts to suddenly pop into place or you know twist and then suddenly untwist or something like that. So now that I got that done, I'm going to copy it over. Mirror skin weight. Let's go ahead and set that to one to one because it's pretty symmetrical. Uh, we're going to go from positive X to negative X. That means we're going to go from left to right. This is the YZ plane. And from, you know, so it's going up and down in Y and it's cutting her uh, front ways. In other words, it, it's it's cutting her right down the middle from the front view. Um, the plane's going up and down and straight out from the camera. So go ahead and we'll hit apply. And so now if we do, well, I have to take the IK off. And you do both legs. And voila. So, again, that's a good first pass. It's not, uh, um, the mesh is too high res to pretty much get everything done through regular skinning with uh, the simple of a rig. Um, if I wanted to do it just by joints, I would have to put other joints like here and here, like up here and down here, so we get the, make the muscles contract and, and expand. And have to set up some kind of rig so so the butt will um, flatten out when the leg is raised and uh, you know balloon back up when when the leg comes out because right now this right now the butt's disappearing when I go like this it should actually balloon out more and when it comes out this way uh, this should all be pulled taut and tight there really shouldn't be much of a um, like all these verts should still be back here. And I can weight it more to the hips uh, to fix it that way, but then it fucks it up, the, or then it screws it up the other way. Um, this muscle mass here should, con um, right here on the upper thigh, should be contracting, and that would pull this area forward so it wouldn't interpenetrate. So there's a lot of things you have to add to this to make this look you know, photorealistic, uh, whether you do it through muscle sim or through pose space deformations or corrective blend shapes or additional joints. Um, you have a lot of liberty as to how you're going to do it, uh, but you still need to do it. So, uh, so that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't uh, too terribly basic. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all for the next tutorial. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing some more advanced crazy stuff coming up in the near future. Thank you very much.